Welcome back to another Scribus tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text to your document and manipulate that text. Sounds basic, but it's actually a little bit more involved than you might think. So first of all, let's just create a new document. I'll just keep everything the same and say, okay, we have a single page document, eight and a half inches by 11 inches. We can see our ruler at the top so we can know the exact size and position. Uh, if I wanna add text, we do similar like in the last video, we just add a text frame. So we click on this T, which is adding a text frame, or we can go to insert text frame, and then we can left click and it'll create, oops, it didn't get selected there. We can also press the T key on our keyboard, and that's the shortcut to create a text frame. So now we have two text frames created. One is, has a red outline because it's currently selected, which means I can click and move it around, I can change the size of it just from within here. The other one has a black line around it, it's telling me that it's not currently selected. Don't worry, none of these, the black lines of the frames are, will not be printed or when we export our document, they don't, they don't appear. It's just for convenience for us so we can see where the frame is located so we can kind of position it. So maybe we want to create a nice page with two columns, just like this. Two columns of text is what we want to do. Maybe we're a, we're a newspaper and we want to create a nice newspaper thing like this with some white space in the middle and then text on both sides. Well, we can double click and just start typing in text if we want to. So we can type in, we can hit the return key, we can type in all kinds of stuff here. Uh, and when we get, I'm gonna keep hitting the enter key. Uh, and when we get to the very bottom, we can just say more text. And if I keep typing down here, it's actually going to run off. We see it disappeared and I can keep typing and it's still typing, but it, it's what it's done is it's ran off out of the text frame. So it's down here. And if I resize the text frame, we'll see it. We'll see all that text. But it's just off the, it's not even necessarily off the page. It's it's off of the text frame. Because there is no, Scribus doesn't care about the page. If we want to, we can we can drag this off the page and it's just fine. It just won't be on our page. Um, but it's outside the text frame. And we see there's a little red X down here at the bottom. That's telling us that we have text that is outside of our text frame. We have more text here. So if we want this text to flow over, and as soon as we get to the bottom of this text frame appear in this other text frame over here, how do we do that? Well, we need to link the text frames. So we click on this text frame first, and up here there's this icon. It might look different on yours because I have a different icon set. I have a, a, maybe a different version than you if you're using an older version. But this is called Link Text Frames. We click on this, and then we just click on the text frame we want to have this one linked to which is over here. So I'll left click, and now we see that text goes there. And now if I come up, come back over here to edit this text, and, and where it says more text, if I, if I hit the return key, or if I type in some more, we'll see it'll actually go and jump over to this line over here. And if we delete some text here in this text frame, we see it comes out of this text frame over here. Does that make sense? Another way we can link, if we want to unlink these, we just go to the unlink text frame and click on the frame to unlink. So now these are not linked anymore. Another way to link text frames is to, just to press the N key on the keyboard and then select the frame you want to link to. But again, the way to do it is, first of all, you have to have the, the primary text box selected, the very first text box that you want to link it to, and then hit the N key and we'll link it. And we can do a third. If we want to do another text box, we just write another text box. We can even do it off the screen over here. Uh, we won't type anything in it, though, because we want to link it. So we select this box now and say when it gets to the bottom of here, link by pressing the N key to this box. And so now that will also be linked there as well. If we don't want to wear out our keyboard just typing in a whole bunch of sample text like I was doing there to, just to illustrate this, one, well, first of all, we can right-click on it on the whole box. Uh, I thought there was a way to clear out the text. Well, I want to I want to clear out all this text, so I guess I'll just select it all and then go to delete. Or actually, let's just grab some text. So we right click on it and go to um, sample text, and that'll bring in some sample text. We can bring in sample text in any language we want, or we can even do this Latin text, which is kind of people you see sometimes probably. So we'll import this Latin text. And now what it's done is imported all this Latin text so we can kind of get a, an idea for what our text boxes look like. And the only reason that it's showing in all the boxes is because I have them all linked. So we want to actually unlink these and just show you what it would look like 
I don't want you to think that it brought in the text to every text frame on the screen because that's just not the case. So it puts all this text, sample text in here, and then we can kind of see what it's like. All right, to, to actually get in and change, I'm sure you are saying, well, let's change the font, let's change the size, how do we do all that kind of stuff? So to do that, we need to right click and go down to, um, we have properties and text properties. So we can just go to properties first, and there are some options in there for changing our text. So we looked at this in the last video. This X, Y, and Z is for controlling the actual text frame. So if we change it, it changes the location and the size of the text frame uh, and the level that it appears on. But we have some different options too. We probably, let's minimize this. Um, we, can, we can change the color of the text this way. Or th this is actually the color right now is the fill. So it's the color of the text box. So we'd make the text box yellow. These are different colors that we have to choose from. You might think it's a limited color selection and you're right, but in a future video, we'll look at how to set up your colors. It's not just choosing from any possible color. You'll wanna have a specific colors that you're working with in your document. So check out another tutorial if you're confused on why you can't make this be a certain color. And then the stroke color, we can change the actual, um, what does that do? I think that's actually the, the color of the box maybe. Yeah, that changes the color of, of the box, which we want it to be none. Oops. Um, okay, so this is, but that changes the, some of the properties of the box. To get to our to the font properties, we right click and go down to text properties. I'm sorry, not font properties, text properties. And so this is where we can change if we want to change the actual font. We can change what font is being used. Uh, we can change the font size, make it larger. We can make it all centered on itself. We can change the line spacing, which is probably what we want to do. So we've got. Um, automatic line spacing, fixed line spacing, and we can get a lot more into it. So right now we have no style selected, but you can actually create certain styles for certain types of text. Like if it's a heading, we just go down to the style and we'd say this is a heading or a certain character style because see it looks pretty ugly right now because we made it big with this ugly text. Boom. Uh, okay, but this is just this is all under just this very first um, drop down. We have another drop down here. We have color and effects. So this is where we change the color of the text. Um, we also have uh, first line offset. So there's actually, we're not gonna go into all this stuff. We've got, is there anything else here we wanna do? Font features? No, so basically, we're not gonna, we're not gonna dive into all this stuff right now, but these are the different properties associated just with this text. Okay, one more thing I wanna show you with text though before we end this video is that this actual text here, um, we can double click on it to edit it, right? Like we we can double click and retype in here. But sometimes you're working with pages and pages of text and this is actually not the, the only reason you wanna double click is if you wanna kinda of see a change, like fix a typo or something or make an uppercase or lowercase. But what we really wanna to do to edit this text is go into our um, text editor, where's it at? Do, 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 do. All these icons are different. Okay, so if we hover over this, we can edit the contents of the frame, which is just like double clicking on it. But if we click on this one here, it's edit text with story editor. That's what I'm looking for, story editor. So this brings up our story editor. So now we have, th associated with this text box, we now have three different panels open. We have our properties panel, which controls the actual text frame. We have our text properties, which controls the actual text here. And then we have our story editor, which actually controls the text, what the text is. And so if I make some changes to the text in here, we can say like, uh, hello world. And then if we click this checkbox, then it updates that and says hello world at the top now. Does that make sense? So that's the story editor. And there's a couple different ways we can get into it. It says uh, if I hover over, we can get into the, so control T also brings up that story editor, which is a good shortcut to know. And then we can also apply styles to this. So if there was a certain like a certain line break right here, we could make this be the uh, like the header, uh, and we have different styles associated with this. So we can paste all of our text in here, and then it becomes really easy to to do lots of different things with this text. We can control like the letting and the spacing. Um, we can also control the font from in here, but we can change the font on a line by line basis. Um, it just gives us more control. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what I want to show you. Learn how to open up the storyboard, 
uh, or the story board, the story editor, learn how to open up the text properties, which is right click and go to text properties, and then learn how to open up the properties, which is right click on properties. So that's enough information to probably make you dangerous and get you started in how to do different things with text in Scribus. Appreciate you watching this video. I feel like it's sort of just like a fire hose just giving you tons of information at once. But keep watching, join in the next ones where we're gonna actually be making real projects like actual real books and real flyers and it'll all start coming together, all this stuff we're learning. So hang in there, be patient, you're gonna get this. I'll catch you in the next video.